Hey, and welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season three, episode 34. Wow, we're really moving through the year. Got a super exciting podcast for you this week, as we always do. But this time of year, I said this last week, this time of year, amazing. So many cool things happening and so many exciting things. And a bit of shameless self promotion here, but I've got a, I, we, we have a competition, yes. So if this is your first time to the channel, what is this channel about before we get into all the nitty gritty stuff about this competition and all the awesome music technology news? Well, of course it is about music technology, music gear, software and hardware. If you like that kind of thing, stick around, hit the like button down below, subscribe, all that YouTube nonsense. And for those of you who are regular to the podcast and the YouTube channel there, well then you're in for a bit of a treat today. So quickly let's get into this competition. I don't do many competitions on here, well, we haven't done one for a while, but actually I am giving away, if you are watching us there on YouTube, my very own IK Multimedia Uno drum, okay? Lovingly used by myself only a couple of times. So it's basically brand new. This competition is open to anyone in the world, yes, we will send it anywhere in the world. Now, how do you enter? Okay, so this is where the shameless promotion part comes in. I've just started an Emlyn in the Mix Facebook page. Now, the reason I started this is just because I want to keep my Emlyn Lucas, me as a musician, separate to the podcast and the YouTube that I do. So we've got two different pages, more or less. Emlyn in the Mix focusing just on what we do here on the podcast and on YouTube. So jump over there, make sure you like the page. All you have to do is like the page, then just like this post here to win an Uno drum. That's all you have to do. And then leave a comment in the comment section below, 25 words or less on what type of beat you would make first after receiving your Uno drum. All right, shameless promotion out of the way. Go over if you want to win an Uno drum. Competition closes September 30th. Yes, I'm really giving this away. And the winner will be announced probably the first week of October. I haven't worked that out yet. We just literally started this competition today. But we'll be speaking about this competition for the next few weeks as we lead up to the winner. All right, let's get stuck into the podcast though. So episode 34... As I said, many exciting drops and cool things bubbling. Now, if you've jumped over here because I've sucked you in with my YouTube thumb, yes, we are looking at Korg, the Korg SQ MS20Q by Achuria. Is it MS20? Hang on, let me just jump over here. I think I'm saying it wrong. MS20V, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying Q. Korg's MS20V, which is an incredible emulation we're going to be looking at at the end of this podcast. If you want to skip along to that, you can, but don't do that. There's so many cool things I want to talk to you. Let's get stuck straight into the first thing here. It's an expansion for Ableton Live. Pluck strings. Sounds absolutely amazing. From sharp staccato plucks to gentle tremellos. Infuse your music with the evocative tones of a Ron Rocco, a Celtic harp, and guitar and bass harmonics. If you like those sort of things, those sort of sounds, natural sounds, Ableton Live has you covered. Pluck Strings brings together a set of stringed instruments with unique sounds and Ron Rocco, a Celtic harp, and their harmonics from a set of electric and acoustic guitars and basses carefully recorded to capture the characterful timbres of each instrument. The samples in this pack feel just as suited to experimental sound design as they do alternative pop, folk, and ambient cinematic music. Now, knowing that they're an Ableton expansion, you know they're going to be have some versatility. You're going to have some versatility. You're going to be able to do some, you know, create some interesting stuff. Let's, let's have a listen. Here we go. Puck strings. Wow, key change. Don't hear that much these days. Ooh, ominous. Okay, there I am just talking all over the demo. I know some of you complained when I could talk over the demos. Very nice, very nice demo. Please don't copyright strike me. That demo seemed quite good, actually. Now, 
That's pretty organic sounding and you don't often hear the expansion packs from Ableton sounding super organic. Like they sound really realistic. Usually they have really warped, twisted sounding, crazy expansion packs that we've looked at in the past. Anyway, that sounds really nice. We're going to have to move through. There's a lot to get through here. Pluck strings from for Ableton. Go check it out. If that's your sort of thing, it is an expansion. You do need to pay for these. You get six presets, four live sets, 23 live clips and it's about a gigabyte in size all right this next drop super exciting link down below if you want to go check this out and get it. i actually made a song with this expansion pack already because i love japanese hip-hop this is the hip-hop direct from japan it's the concrete sun expansion pack for machine users or native instruments users you don't have to just be a machine exclusive user you can use it in your battery kits i believe yeah, you get drum kits, 53 battery kits, 47 machine kits. Anyway, Beats on the Rise. I thought I said Beats on the Rice for a second there. I'm like, wow, Native Instruments really taking it to the next level. Anyway, Hip Hop transcends borders with different interpretations around the globe. Concrete Sun pays homage to the Japanese hip hop culture with its heady mix of 90s aesthetics. That's true. I love the 90s aesthetics, like the keys and stuff they use. It's amazing. Eclectic gear and a rich instrumental heritage made from the ground up with Japanese artists. The sonic palette of this expansion is an authentic, is as authentic as it is spirited, enriched with elements of traditional Japanese instruments. Drift through your mystical synth presets, rhythmical drum kits, and bold loops to take you full circle through a beat making mastery. Concrete Sun was made in collaboration with Adapt Hook, DJ Rena, Itsuka, Charisma.com, and a bunch of other people, which are obviously hip hop Japanese artists, so I'm just going to butcher their names if I keep saying them. Spin Master A1, I can say that sounds cool. Now, actually, I haven't even heard the demo for this, so hopefully it is good because I did make a track with this expansion, as I said already, and it's freaking, it freaking rocks. So let's have a listen to this demo. This is the first time I've heard this demo live here on Emily in the Mix. Let's have a listen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Bouncy. Oh, that's mad. That is so bouncing. That is such a damn good beat. Pretty good demo. Not what I was expecting at all. Like, that sounds pretty modern to me. I thought it was going to go more, a bit more nostalgic 90s hip-hop styles, but I loved it. Nonetheless, you could hear the samples in there. You could hear the little Koto guitar. I don't even know. How, I don't know why I'm trying to do, like, if you're watching on YouTube here, trying to pretend I can play a Koto. Even if, is a Koto even a stringed instrument? Is that a drum? <laughs> I'm so sorry for my stupidity there. But anyway... Beats on the Rise, Concrete Sun expansion sounds amazing. Now, there's a link down below. It's an affiliate link, yes. You're supporting the channel, supporting me, but you're also doing yourself a favor and just getting this amazing expansion. I mean, it's really, it's a win-win. So hit the link down below if you like that or you want to check out more on Concrete Sun. You can just click the link down below and just check it out. You don't have to buy it or do anything. If you don't want to affiliate, you don't want to affiliate with me, be a part of me, be a part of this podcast, this YouTube, you don't have to do that. You don't, you just click the link though and you can have a listen and go no Emlyn I'm not getting this and you can close your browser that's all you have to do or you're like damn I want this sun damn I'm getting this right now anyway I'm crafting on of course concrete sun go check out native instruments we don't have time for this we're gonna get to good stuff all right let's move along Rolly has a new expansion we're just gonna play a few seconds of this and it's Conjure Instant Drama with Contemporary Cinema. This sounds freaking good. And knowing that it's Rolly, it's going to sound amazing. So if you're into making a sort of orchestral sounding, this could be for more your scoring type 
producers out there. I don't even know if I have scoring type producers who listen to this podcast. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Conjure instant drama with contemporary cinema and atmospheric Equator 2. That's right, Equator 2 is running this. Equator 2 has one of the best engines, one of the best software engines, soft synth engines out there. And Rolly Studio Sound Pack inspired by modern movie sound packs designed by synth wizard Yuli Yolo. Whoa, what a name. That's cool. The pack features a star cast of sweeping orchestral elements, rumbling percussions, haunting cinematic beds, and pounding analog sequences. 50 MPE, 50 standard MIDI versions of each preset are also available. Let's just have a quick listen. Here we go. to end it there that is amazing if you want to check out the rest of that demo head over to rollo.com right now to check out the contemporary cinema sound pack sounds beautiful absolutely beautiful that is by rolly if you have equated two already and you like that or even if you don't have equated two go over to rollo.com check it out and if that's the sound you're after if you're scoring or you're composing this could be the perfect sound pack for you this next one goes out to sort of almost like composing type people as well it's more for my foley my foley people are they out there my foley people i don't know UVI has released Walker 2. This is a brand new, brand new addition, update to the original Walker, which we spoke about, I don't know, last year in season two, I think, or even season one. What is Walker 2? It is literally a Foley plugin. Creative and customizable footsteps design, film, video, and post-production. Yes, that's right, it's footsteps. I know, super boring, but coming from me as a sound engineer, I can tell you that trying to find, when I've had to do sound for movies trying to find the right footsteps is one of the hardest tasks like trying to find the samples this just cuts away all that difficulty to find the right sound and just puts it all there for you there's a quick i think there's a quick little video here let's just have a look here of some of the sounds walker 2 i'm not going to play the whole thing it's just footsteps but just give you an idea and you got someone going through the grass Concrete, metal, wood, even cat's paws, why not? Animals, you need animals, horses, dogs. They actually did a really good job. I'm not going to play that whole thing. It gives you an idea. Walker 2 by UVI. I, I just like the creativity on this that someone's actually thought about this because surprisingly, you know, if you weren't a Foley artist and you didn't know, this is a difficult thing to get the right sound for. And I can speak on that behalf. I know that. So Walker 2 will be worth checking out. Footstep Foley Designer Walker 2 by UVI. Next one here. This is just a quick mention. XLNAudio.com. Uh, Having a sale right now, I don't have sales very often. If you didn't want to go for this sale, you could wait till Black Friday because Black Friday is just going to be bonkers you know it's gonna be bonkers but right now they've got a pretty good sale on xo is almost half price and all their expansions are on sale who are xln audio to do some of the best drum samples if you need new drum samples or you need new drum players they do addictive drums the addictive drum stuff sounds incredible it's all on sale right now so i thought it was worth a mention maybe it's part of a summer sale i just noticed i was getting emails in my inbox about xln audio and i love xln audio they sound incredible i've got the xo i've got addictive drums and i'm probably going to buy some more expansions here because they're on sale no affiliate link nothing to do with affiliation here but just i love xln audio and they're on sale right now so if you're after or you needed new drums you needed drum packs drum sounds you needed new drum players go check out xln.audio.com 
All right, next piece of news here is the Baby Audio, the Crystalline. That's affiliate link. I'm going to have, gosh, I, I'm going to remember all the links down below. We've got the competition, we've got the Concrete Sun, and then we've got this one. Okay, so I've got to remember that. Crystalline Audio, affiliate link down below, if you want to get it, is on sale only for a little bit longer. I spoke about this in the last couple of podcasts. If you wanted to get it, it's, I'm touting this as plug in of the year for 2022. I really am. It's going to, it's, it's it's up there i can't guarantee because there's some other really cool plugins and some that i'm embargoed i can't even talk about that will may win as well there's some really creative amazing plugins but my my guess would be plugin of the year 2022 will be a creative effects plugin because that just seems to be the popularity that seems to be the things that although there is some good software instruments as well actually i can even cherry audio we looked at alka x last week wow that is an incredible that could even win but is it a creative effects plugin? If that has its own category, Crystalline is in the top and it's on sale only for a little bit longer. Affiliate link down below. Click that link if you want to get it. It won't last at this price for much longer. 49 bucks, half price. It's more than half price actually. You can't go wrong. Check it out, Baby Audio. Affiliate link down below. Link, click right now. Support your boy. Do what you got to do. Do all the things. Do all the things. Why not win a Uno drama? I mean, who knows? I mean, there's so much cool stuff going on right now. This next one, we are heavily, we're heavily going on my, my friends who are into audio design this week. I just realized because this is, this is actually really cool. So if you're a Pro Tools user, R2 Melodyne integration is coming to Pro Tools. Yes, that's right. Pitch correction via Melodyne, which is one of the top three or even top two, maybe even number one. It's Auto-Tune or Melodyne, really. I actually think it would be Auto-Tune as the winner, but Melodyne is a close second. If not, it's more used than Auto-Tune. I don't know. It's one of the two, okay? Melodyne, the, one of the best pitch correction software on the planet is going to be integrated straight into Pro Tools. And it's very exciting. It is a very exciting update if you're a Pro Tools user. So among the features, workflows, and enhancements to be introduced into the next Pro Tools release in R2 support, specifically a deep integration between Pro Tools and Melodyne Pitch and Time Solution. This has been one of the most requested features for Pro Tools, and it will soon be available to all users. This puts Pro Tools in my book just that little bit more desirable. I, I use Pro Tools anyway. I almost don't have a choice for work. I need Pro Tools. Pro Tools is just so fluid and quick for for just cutting up audio and getting it to sound amazing for TV and radio. Pro Tools is one of the winners. I mean, I know there's people out there use Nuendo and I would never use Ableton Live for the work I do for TV and radio. Just That's more of a creative, almost like an instrument in itself door type thing. But Pro Tools, amazing for cutting up audio so fast. And this is really cool. Like if you're doing music, I, I need to get into, because I think a lot of the top, you know, producers use like a creative like door, like Ableton, make their track, and then they jump it over to Pro Tools and mix it in there. I, I don't know. I, I need to do that because I love Pro Tools and I think it is is definitely possible to do that. And now with the pitch correction technology put in there as well for vocals, wow, that makes it far more tantalizing than it's ever been before. And this is an exciting update. I thought it was worth a mention. All right, let's get to our feature. If you've come along for the feature, it is, of course, coming to us from Arturia today. Thank you to Arturia for reaching out and letting us check out. the. Uh, today, we're going to mainly feature the Korg MS-20V. Uh, we'll see how we're going for time. Might look at some of the other new instruments because you got the SQ80V. These are the new instruments in V Collection 9, by the way. So if you're interested in getting the V Collection 9, this is what you get. The new instruments are Korg MS-20V, SQ80V, SQ which is a hybrid lo-fi cross-wave synth fusing thousands of digital waveforms combinations with crunchy analog filters. You get augmented strings, which we've spoken about in the channel before, which is an innovative instrument combining sampled strings with state-of-the-art synthesis and deep morphing controls. And you get augmented voices blending the human voice with multiple synth engines and expressive controls for evocative hybrid sound. What we are going to look at today is the Korg MS-20V, which is promo black monolith with an elemental analog sound and a semi-modular or architecture, sorry, reawakened. This is a really cool, that's why I wanted to make it the feature for today. Just quickly before we jump over to our live demonstration, some of the instruments that are rebuilt 
in V Collection 9, which is worth mentioning, is the CS80 V, which is now V4, Profit 5V, Profit VSV, and the Piano V3. These have been reworked and rebuilt, and you get a bunch of other stuff, exclusive sound packs and so forth. Anyway, we're not going to go into everything that V Collection 9 offers, but it is definitely, definitely a very excellent analog emulation pack if you're interested in getting it. Aturia.com, head over there. I don't have an affiliate link for this one, but we're just going to get stuck straight into the Korg MS20V because there are obviously other emulations of this. Now, we jumped over to here to Ableton Live, but i got to say, even this trumps the Korg MS20 soft synth in terms of visual. Just coming over to the visual side, it just looks really nice. Reawakened is the right word. All right, cool. Let's have a quick listen. Korg MS20V, Dark Roller. Wow, listen as a hold a note. The imperfections. Just make sure that's rolling there for us. Oh, it certainly is. <sighs> wow, sounds good. Now, as I said earlier, it is one of the easiest synthesizers to learn about synthesis because it's all so just neatly laid out. You've got your oscillator one here. And I can change the waveform, of course. Square, triangle, saw. And then you've also got, you can change, basically your VCOs are down below and you can change your octaves. And it's really easy to just mess with and change the sound so easily. It's just a really nicely laid out synthesizer. I got the MS20 Mini. Is it MS20 Mini by Korg? And it, it was honestly, it was my first analog synthesizer. I believe it was. Oh no, the Nord probably was. Nord uh, Wave that I have. But yeah, the MS20 Mini taught me. I think it was my first synthesizer that actually taught me about about how analog synthesizers work. Now, let's just go through the presets here. I'm not going to bore you with navigating around the whole thing, but I just wanted to quickly point out how easy it is. It does have this patch bay here, which can sort of lose you a bit if you don't know about patching stuff, but you can learn about that quite easily too. I sort of got my head around that eventually. Volume here, of course. Uh, wow. What I do have to say about this, unlike the the actual Korg MS20 soft synth that was created, which is great as well, don't get me wrong. This feels like it's got real life imperfections going. It sounds amazing. All right, let's just go through some of the presets. Nice bass sounds, been, been a mono synth. I got two MIDI controllers here. If you're watching us on YouTube, you're probably like, why am I, why are my hands going here and then going there? You can just hear. And the imperfection is hilarious. It sounds amazing, like real life emulations. Right, let's go through some more. Here we go. Exciting. We've got sequencer going. Now, obviously, you don't have a sequence. When you get the Korg MS20, there's no sequencer. But this has got an included sequencer in the soft synth, which is a really nice addition. change, alter, you know, get some weird and really change, change up your sequence more or less. Now, if we go through, actually, let's have a look. I like these sequences. Let's have a listen to a few of them. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go through some more. <laughs> They're awesome. We listened to that one, didn't we? Beacon Beach. Hang on, let's get to one we haven't heard yet. Nice, basic techno. Of 
pull up the low pass filter. Nice, how good does that sound? That is actually freaking cool. It's got, oh, I thought it had a hold button there. Probably does have hold somewhere, where is it? You can turn it on and off here. Hey, make it fast or slow. Change the sequence length. That's really cool, that sequencer. Obviously, that isn't in the actual COG software version. Now, if we look around drums, let's have a look. What do we got in the way of drums? Oh, we got sequences on drums too. Nice fat snare. Hard tune, hard time, sorry. That's just a mad techno beat. Where's my filter? Oh yeah. This is, I gotta say, this is an incredible sounding emulation. It is a lot of fun. If you like the MS-20 or the layout and you've wanted to, you know, you've got the hardware versions, this is a nice addition to having your arsenal. One of the best sounding software versions of the MS-20 I've ever heard. And let's have a look. We've got some keys, car keys. I get it. Now, I'm not your top keys player, so I'm probably not going to be able to show these presets off the best, but get some ideas of how to sound. Oh, how good is that? I can play a chord. I can play a chord. Look. Ah, good. That sounds nice. Chrome legs. I like it. Whoa. The other thing is if you have or if, you, if you've ever played with an, a real life MS-20, whether it's the Mini or the original, you know that also, even though you can dial in your own presets, it doesn't save presets, of course, but even though you can dial in your own presets, it's not always easy to get like something that sounds like this even. I mean, that's a pretty damn complex and cool sounding preset. Let's see what else we got. Scapus. I like these. There's an LFO on the back end of that. That sounds really good. As a holder, that's amazing. What else have we got? Keys, leads. Let's have a look at leads. It's got like a hold the tack thing going off the back of it. Wind. That makes sense. You got a bunch of leads, bunch of pads. Oh, let's do one pad then. Come on. Slow attack. Whoa. That sounds good. Is that MPE, is it? Whoa. Listen to this. That is incredible. That, that decay... I love that. You could do just a song based on that. And then you got sound effects, won't bother with those. This isn't another pad though. Amazing. What this makes me realize, and I was just thinking then as I was playing, you know, some little samples of the presets back for you here is that we are spoilt. In 2022, we are spoilt with sounds. And software instruments are just, they sound incredible now. Like, I mean, if you put these back to back with a real life MS-20, it'd be hard to tell which is the real one, which is the software version, as long as you could dial in the right preset on the original hardware version. But this, this is an incredible job that they've done Shout outs to Aturia, V Collection 9. It's part of V Collection 9. Maybe we'll look at the SQ80 V in another video. We've got to wrap it up here because we're out of time, folks. And wow, I'm blown away. Sounds absolutely amazing. You've got an effects section, which we didn't even look at 
on let's look at it now just really quickly before we wrap up the video so you can pop in individual effects here reverb compressors multiband stereo pan that's amazing delays you can dial them in more and that, there you go and they're obviously going to give you know your effect feedback put more feedback on the delay this is going to be a long delay basically we make it more dry wet chorus and then and then the effects also have presets which is nice to see ensemble for chorus so you can alter your sound way more than you could with the hardware version right super nice indeed we're gonna we're gonna keep exploring this v collection now because wow it's honestly amazing much different than the hardware version you're not going to have these effects just built in routed there sequencer hardware amazing and the gui incredible they did an incredible job so shout outs to Aturia. and uh, i feel like i have to do a standalone video on this because this sounds so freaking good i'm i am a cog fanboy if you have been following me you know that i love cog and this is no exception this is just a really well done software version of the ms20 and ms20v is what it is from cog oh, sorry from Aturia. they did a better job than cog although i still love you cog don't worry all right guys thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to check out the uno drum competition head over like the facebook page shameless promotion but i need some likes we just started it's very embarrassing i've got zero likes on there so if you want to win an uno drum your odds are pretty good you just jump over it you could be the first person boom enter the competition and hit the affiliate links down below if you liked any of those expansion packs we looked at today concrete sun or the baby audio crystalline's gonna go up soon so make sure to check that out and we'll be back next week with oh, incredible mind mind-blowing exciting news so much cool stuff bubbling in the backgrounds we head into september here 2022 and of course black friday is coming it's just gonna be nuts the next couple of months are gonna be absolutely freaking exciting and nuts and i'm i can't wait to share them with you thank you so much for joining me but we'll be back next week peace out guys Boom.